Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress, and this is your daily dust for Monday, August 28th, if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it. It's also a timeless reading. I am doing a series, a real quick little series for the end of August that I'm calling The Pastel Journey. <laughs> and pulling out pastel tarot decks that I just love and adore because I love pastels. And another one is this beautiful weaver tarot, which is also a beautiful gilded tarot deck well, or um, embossed holographic, all of the above, <laughs> both sides, just really gorgeous. I love Threads of Fate too because they're just really nice people to work with. If you're a tarot reader, reach out to them because they will send you free stuff. <laughs> and just to get advertisement, they're super nice. Okay, so I like to do a shuffle and a three card collective message for you. deck is a little bit thick and a little wide <laughs> but um yeah it's still A's enough to shuffle it, they don't the cards don't stick together too bad so it makes it easy let's see what we get I'm gonna pull from the middle and we have the conqueror of coins so th with the uh, what I love about this deck too it's a little it can be a little bit hard but um what I love about this deck is that the suits and the, the court cards have different names, which makes them very, it makes it nice for, for general reading. Like it makes it non-gender and that's, you know, is important. It makes it very ex inclusive for everyone. All right. Even though I, the deck, all tarot decks have that intention. It's just not so obvious because there's either a picture of a girl or a boy or whatever. But I, that's the difference with this deck. There's there's no gender specific specificity. Okay, and so let's see what we cast. We get ooh, but we get the devil. <laughs> and why did the devil come out? I had a devilish dream. Okay, and then the five of wands. All right. So in this case, the, suddenly this pastel journey turned a little bit dark. <laughs> All right, let's zoom on in and see what we get. The Conqueror of Coins is the uh, equivalent to the Knight of Pentacles. So it's talking about grounded, hard work. I often see the Knight of Pentacles as slow and steady wins the race. This person will take time getting to what they need to get to but there's a certain stability um, once they get there there's bukus of of stability why do I keep saying stability this this is commitment this is longevity this is not just a uh, fly in and out this is somebody established somebody you feel you feel confident with um and they are driven and methodical. They can be a little bit slow to making decisions. In some cases, that feels great. In other cases, it can be frustrating, especially if you're more of an active person, like a fire sign. It can be a little frustrating. But if you're not, if you like this kind of slow, methodical, thoughtful, careful style, then it's a very, it's like a very comfortable feeling. Um, they are the kind of people that bring energy uh, in rigorous routine, like they, they really use their muscle, you know, they're very, they can be very physical when, when making something or, or attempting or applying to something. They're very focused and concentrated and use physical energy, mostly physical energy as opposed to mental energy and they have a lot of stamina they feel good with this this processing they don't always see instant results they see big picture they know that hard work will get the big picture in the end and this is kind of represents sort of the traditional 
mindset about work that hard work gets results kind of and it also makes me feel a little bit I don't know why but I'm I'm seeing like bodybuilder type person like I'm seeing a beefy person <laughs> um somebody who like who knows that they won't get that big bulging bicep <laughs> until they keep working at it you know they have to go to the gym or they have to you know apply um a certain method and a process and repetition to get what get the results they're looking for so the concrete may sometimes seem boring <laughs> um but in reality, you know, there's a freedom that comes with their routine and their work ethic. And I think it's also sort of a just a comfort level, you know. If you're embodying the qualities of the conqueror, that's great, you know. Keep it up and you'll see success. You're going to see success. And if you are connecting with somebody who's like this, then I feel like it'll you'll have a sense of, there's a long-term goals here, but short-term successes getting the getting on the way there, and you can kind of you can trust them, you can depend on them. They're very dependable. So um, sometimes, sometimes, and then the other little caveat I think here is so when in Mercury retrograde, I have often said be sure to have a plan B, C, D, and E because sometimes A doesn't always work. That is generally true, but don't skip over A <laughs> just because it's Mercury retrograde because really A is the best thing to do during Mercury retrograde. Um, it's not a time to be ultra creative and try something new. It, I mean, you may be... <clears throat> forced to be in a way you may be guided to do something different because of the circumstances but it shouldn't be your initial instinct to just oh i'll try this way you know because that could i'm just saying it's fine go ahead if you need to if you feel like it's right you know if your intuition says yes then do it but but just remember during retrograde sometimes the alternate way of doing something may have a snag or a glitch in it so just just be just stick to your intuition when it comes to this but maybe just on this particular day as opposed to any day because it is a daily mundane type of reading and i think also with the coins here it is very mundane even with the devil here it's mundane because the devil is like the devil in the details the devil in the devil is the material and today i feel like is a very material day in order to get the work done that you need to do you really have to focus on the material physical effort to do it it's not a time for for um for doing something unusual fiery passionate out of the blue you know random something like that today specifically it may be tomorrow you have to do that that strange number two idea or the B or C or D idea but today stick with the first with the routine with the regular routine and and it should go well your regular routine should go well today especially put if you put work into it so in other words let's say something just is not going right in your regular routine as instead of going to plan B or C or D um, try and try again. Now, don't follow the, the it, you know, it's like if at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Follow that rule. But don't, don't be, follow the, the law of, ins or the rule, or the definition of insanity, doing the same thing twice and expecting a, a different result. Be aware, it's a minor thing, maybe put in a number wrong, but just double check your numbers. Do so. In other words, say you you log into something and you have a certain password or certain numbers. You just missed a number. So do the regular way you log in again, but you might have to fix a number instead of creating a whole new account. In other words, you see what I'm saying? A whole new account would be Plan B. <laughs> um, but logging in like you normally do is Plan A. But it's like fine tuning, tweaking something that you missed, some little thing. Okay, I. I'm reading these things as according to the way 
to me, retrograde may may affect you. And I don't know if I've ever done that before in any of the daily dusts, but I really feel it today. Most of you will just do this today without even thinking about it. You you will follow this kind of path pattern and you won't feel like this day is anything to worry about. Like it's but some of you, some people, especially more impulsive people, more uh, strong headed people, if you mess up, you get ang you know, you get frustrated and you think, well, I just better do something. Oh, you know, you know, you just jump to this a whole nother conclusion, which that's. I think that's what this is saying to avoid, not jumping into something completely different. So the devil is an interesting energy, too, for lots of things. It could be, like what I said, devil in the details. It could be, yeah, I feel like that's the strongest energy here for today. But also remember, sometimes in retrograde, shadow things will turn up um, a, a different side of things than that you than you've been looking at. Um, shadow work can be annoying and daunting and exhausting, but shadow work can be also very helpful. So sit in it for a moment if you need to, and see what needs to be learned in a certain situation of how you know what choices you made or how you perceive things or whatever. Um, the the devil can sometimes represent illusion, so there's something there that may not actually be there. Another thing I'm getting, because I had a strange dream this morning, the the and it was sort of like that, a kind of a strange energy, a shadowy energy, is is maybe get psychological with yourself. It's better if you have an actual psychologist you can talk to, a therapist or something, but you can do you can do like this a self kind of assessment and just kind of ask yourself questions. Your higher self ask your ego self like why did this happen and why did that happen and then you just kind of go in a little bit of a a deep dive. Though I don't feel like you need to spend too much time on that today. Just just ask yourself a few questions and forgive yourself, let it go, and then move on. But the Five of Wands is an interesting energy for this day. You may f feel like you're struggling against something. And so don't struggle against, yeah, it's <laughs> it's being frustrated, you know. It's that, it's com conflict, sometimes competition, um, it could be something simple as playing games with somebody and then, and, and I feel like this is more of a physical game instead of like a video game and trying to do something different because maybe there's just the competition level is kind of like really strong and it's kind of getting the best of you. <laughs> It could also be like what I'm what I mentioned before, just some kind of minor thing like putting in a password or something like that, and where you get so frustrated with having to do it over and over again that you you turn to a different method that's not exactly the solution to the problem. So just remember, try to stick with the main method of doing this just on this particular day. Don't let yourself get over frustrated. And if you find yourself getting over frustrated with something, then just take a deep breath and try to pull back a little bit, maybe count to 10. Look at yourself, at your ego, your higher self, look at your ego self and then say, uh, why are you getting mad about this? Why are you frustrated? Think clearly now. What is if you think clearly, you're going to figure out what the thing is that you're overlooking. And then you're going to be able to fix it. Okay? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed that. They chose the pixie dust. Mm -hmm.